Hey guys, welcome back to yet another round of Rachel Makes Desserts in Quarantine. Today we are making three ingredient desserts because I wanted to test these out. I wanna see what is actually worth the effort. Some of them are on the easier side, some of them take a long time to make. Sort of defeats the purpose in my eyes for three ingredients, but whatever, okay. But they all look really good, so I'm very excited. And uh, we're just gonna dive right into this. Diving head first into dessert today. And every day, because that's how I roll. If you're new here, hi, welcome. Come and join us. We're doing some baking today, and most Saturdays, we are baking various desserts and cookies and muffins and all sorts of fun things, because you know what? That's what I feel like doing all day, all the time, forever. And now let's get into the first dessert, which is a three ingredient creme brulee. And we're gonna start with this one because it needs the most time. This one is time intense, though only three ingredients. So for this recipe, we are going to need ice cream, an egg yolk, and sugar. Yes, sugar, I had to check. The ingredients are right here in front of me and I couldn't remember three of them. This is for a single serving of creme brulee. And for me, I feel like creme brulee is one of those one desserts that you go out, like if you're gonna go out to like a fancy restaurant for like a special occasion, I want to get like a creme brulee because that just feels fancy and also something that I don't have the patience to make on my own. But this one, it feels like a cheater version, something that you could do at home. And since it's a single serving, it feels more doable to me. So the first ingredient was uh, vanilla ice cream. That's right, I've already forgotten. Put it in the freezer so that it would stay frozen. Um, and now we need to microwave it. Well, that was a useless, exercise for me then. So I have half a cup of ice cream. I'm going to microwave it for about 30, 40 seconds. Kind of depends on your microwave. Everyone's is uh, a little unique, I feel like. Basically until it's completely melted. So whatever that is for your microwave, and then you want to let it cool down for about five minutes. So let's, let's do that. Microwaving ice cream is actually something that Chris and I used to do in university because I feel like having slightly melted ice cream is like the only way to do it. It's so good. If you haven't tried it, highly recommend. 10 out of 10. Like you don't need to make it soup, but it does make it extra delicious. I'm just, I'm just saying. All right, so this is vanilla milk soup. Let that hang out for a minute. And then to this, we're gonna add one egg yolk and we're going to whisk it together well. So I'm actually gonna get a bigger bowl because I don't trust myself to whisk something in this small of a bowl. All right, now that this is cooled down a little bit, I'm going to pour it into a slightly bigger bowl and then whisk in one egg yolk. Oh, I should have turned on the oven as well. Oven needs to be on, 325. Then we're just going to whisk this together well. That looks sufficiently mixed. Now let's pour it into a ramekin because all fancy desserts need to be in ramekins. So pour this in. And then this ramekin is gonna go into another pan. You can hear my hot water boiling in the background. All right, incoming hot water. We're just gonna fill it up to the halfway mark. Now I'm gonna stick this in the oven for 40 to 50 minutes or so until it is mostly set, but still kind of jiggly in the center. That's, that's the consistency that we're looking for here. So while those are cooking, we're gonna move on to the next dessert, which is another, it's another Oreo one, everyone. Go on to the Oreos. We need to add to the Oreo cheesecake cookie. Ta -da! This is dark chocolate. I ate like a really good. Last night. I feel like Oreos are used so often in these three ingredient recipes because it has both the icing as well as the cookie, but it's still like one ingredient. So cheating the system a little bit. And we are gonna be making some cookies and cream truffles. So we're gonna need white chocolate chips, Oreos, and some cream cheese. I've been played before <laughs> last week with the Oreos and cream cheese situation. So hopefully this one's better. And we're gonna start by using a food processor to blend up these Oreos because doing it by hand was really time consuming last time. It's just sliding the top, the top cookie. Oh my gosh, this is taking forever. I just like, Arr! and I just, I don't have the patience today. Don't have it, it's not here. Also the recipe called for a food processor. So I feel good about it. So I have 18 regular Oreos. We're gonna plop these in and blend them up. So it'll be so much faster. 
The last time I did this. Okay, it says finally crush cookies. Got to crush them. It's been a minute since I've used this thing. Low. Wow. Well, that made quick work of it. Take a look here. It's pretty good. So I want to reserve two tablespoons because we're going to use that to like dust on top, make them fancy. Honestly, I just kind of want to eat like just the ground up Oreos. Is that just me? I think that'd be delicious. I'm trying to like level these out. I love those TikToks, by the way, where they like level things out to the music. She got me like, woo. This one doesn't do a very good job. Two tablespoons. All right. Set to the side. And then into a large bowl, we are gonna combine the Oreo crumbs as well as the cream cheese. And I should also mention that for this particular recipe, I halved it because there are fewer people in this house, even though I will eat all of this. Serving of three, but really for one. Move you to the side, thank you for your assistance. Honestly, I don't think I've ever used a food processor in any of my videos. I think that was a first for me. Lean off the counters because I need to. And then I have four ounces of cream cheese here and we're just going to mix this together. Make sure your cream cheese is soft because otherwise this will not work well for you. Christopher, which of these do you think is gonna be the best? Oh, I don't wanna give it all away. Okay, between the cookies and cream truffles and the creme brulee, which do you think is gonna be better? Either of those would make my short list. <laughs> well then. Probably the truffles. Yeah, but the cream cheese and Oreo wasn't very good last time. You know what my favorite three ingredient recipe is? Don't go in a coffee. <laughs> you know what I want right now? We have it. We do. Actually, it, it works really well if you keep it in the fridge. Just a heads up for everyone. I've managed to have like a big tub of it and then I'll just scoop a little bit into some milk with ice every day. Delicious. All right, I feel like I have made a nice Oreo like paste here. So now I'm gonna go and put this in the fridge for about an hour or as long as it needs to like set so it can form little balls, little truffle balls. Now onto recipe number three. We are rolling, everyone, I'm excited. We are going to make a three minute fudge next. We need condensed milk, semi-sweet chocolate chips, and vanilla for this particular recipe. Set it all out, so nice. And as with the last recipe, I'm also going to be doing half of this recipe. So I've done the first step, which is to butter and add parchment paper to a uh, baking dish of some description. So we got that all set and ready. And then to a microwave safe bowl, I'm gonna add the sweetened condensed milk as well as the semi-sweet chocolate chips, and we're gonna melt them up in the microwave. The microwave is making a big statement today. Ooh, ah. Oh. So pretty and delicious. Gotta get all that deliciousness in there. Don't be shy. So this is half a can of sweetened condensed milk, and then this is one cup of semi-sweet chocolate chips. Dumping them in. Then we need to heat it like this for a minute. Two, one. Done. Now before I can do anything to this, I am supposed to let it sit for one minute. So now we're going to wait. Okay, has it been a minute? Quite close to a minute, right? Can I stir you now? Okay, it's gotta be. You know what's super fun? When your camera dies at the most satisfying part, which was stirring, but it is very smooth and very chocolatey and very delicious, so let's keep going. Now I'm gonna add in a half teaspoon of vanilla, stir that all in, and then we let it set because that is it. Boom. So now I'm just gonna pour this into the prepared Baking dish, forgot, I was gonna say container, but I guess it's kind of a container. Again, scrape up all that good stuff. You don't wanna leave any of it behind unless you want to because you just want to eat it, which is kind of what I wanna do right now. Ooh, ah, so fudgy. Oh, I had to think about it for a second. I was like, does this have raw egg in it? Mm. Delicious. So this needs to set completely, obviously, before you can cut it into little squares. So I'm going to stick it in the fridge so that it does it faster. Because again, I am impatient. Here you go. Right beside the Oreo. Let's go to the Oreo trouble things. Ooh, and I bet the fudge is all set up too. Ooh. Yes, it has. Yes, it has. Ooh, I'm excited about this. Okay, I'm gonna put this aside for a minute. 
because truffles. And basically what I need to do is take any sort of baking sheet and put some parchment on it and roll a bunch of little balls with the Oreo concoction we have here. How big do I want these? Does it say? I don't have a lot of truffles because typically they have nuts in them and I'm allergic to nuts. So I don't, I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, golf ball size balls. Okay, thank you, Tasty. Ooh, that's a small golf ball. Let's make her a little bit bigger here. This is where all my work with Play-Doh really comes in handy. I am excellent at making balls with Play-Doh. They seem to be getting progressively, <laughs> progressively larger. Do you guys have any like three ingredient recipes that you love? Let me know in the comments. I got um, a bunch of really good mug cake recipes in the last video, I wanna say, um, because they said I didn't like a lot of the mug cakes that I've tried, but I saw a lot of like three ingredient mug cakes and things like that, so I may have to try some, because you guys say they're real good, and I trust you. We know desserts, okay? I think I've managed to get about like nine I could, probably, I could probably make them 10. You know what, I'm gonna make two mini ones for the little kids. But you could make them mini if you wanted to. I mean, you could really make them any size. I could make a giant one if I wanted to. I want to now. No, Rachel, don't do it. So now that we have a bunch of the balls here, let's, um, oh, okay, so I have sticks. I have sticks. I have these cute little sticks that I chopped, they're just skewers. And this is gonna make it easier for when we're like dipping them in the white chocolate. So I wanna do this before I get into the white chocolate chips because as soon as I melt these, they're a little tub temperamental. I don't know if you guys have tried to melt white chocolate, but they don't like it. So I'm gonna get everything ready so that we are good to go. Plus how cute these are. Look at them for the, <laughs> for the parties I'm not having. <gasps> do I just have enough? I do. It's like I planned it. Okay, microwaving the white chocolate. Let's try this. Getting there, it's a little melted. Let's stir it a bit. It needs a little bit more time. All right, we have melted white chocolate. Let's go. Dip them into the melted chocolate. Ooh. This is not, this is not working the way I was expecting. The sticks do not like this. Nice. Like put some over top like this. Oh no. Oh, all right. One's kind of busted. So these sticks aren't really working for me. Look, Christopher, my sticks didn't work. The chocolate's too heavy. So I just kind of have to like put them in. Look at this. Yeah, yeah. It's not, Can it doesn't look it good. With, what, with milk or something? Maybe. Yeah, maybe. Although that first one looks pretty good. Thank you. Uh, yeah. Sprinkle some of this on top okay. and no one will know. Yeah. Plus I'm only making this for you and I, so what does it matter? Let you know when it's done and we'll taste test. All right. It's also making the white chocolate very messy and crummy, which is kind of annoying. So I wish that the instructions had said to freeze these little balls first, because I feel like then I won't have messy white chocolate after. Or ooh, another one you could do is you could just like drizzle it over top. Oh, I should have done that. That would have way faster. What am I doing? Just covering each of these individually like a chump? I don't have that much white chocolate left, so we're just gonna drizzle <laughs> for these last ones. Ooh, artsy. Let's just pretend that looks really good. Okay, and then we're gonna cover it up like nothing happened. All right, now I'm gonna let these set for a minute and then we're gonna go on to an espresso mousse. Sounds delicious. And for this recipe, you need instant espresso powder, sweetened condensed milk, and heavy cream. Pretty straightforward. And the first thing we're gonna do is over actually on the stove because we need to combine the sweetened condensed milk with the espresso powder for like three to five minutes. So let's grab a little pot for that. This one'll do. So again, I'm doing half the recipe here. So I'm doing seven ounces of sweetened condensed milk as well as half of a tablespoon of espresso powder. Never get tired of doing that. Now we're gonna dump in the espresso powder. Take it to the stove. Take it to the stove. And do medium low heat here. Stir this and cook it for three to five minutes. All right, now while everything is setting up, I thought, you know what I need? Caffeine. And so originally I was going to include the Delgona coffee in this video, but I actually included it in my 
my TikTok video. Pleasant iced coffee taste. I like it. I like it. Delgado coffee, I'm sure you guys have already seen all over the internet. It's super, super popular. It's like a whipped coffee concoction and it uses instant coffee as well as milk and sugar. Super, super easy to do as well as hot water, I guess. But do you include hot water as an ingredient? I don't think so. And so I was gonna make it today because I thought, well, why not? We're doing three ingredient recipes anyway, right? But I found a version online that I thought would be really interesting, which is a matcha latte version. Now, technically, technically, it has four ingredients instead of three, but we're gonna include it because we're friends. <laughs> So it's fine. And I just want to taste test it and see if it's any good because the other one, the Delgado coffee, great. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to whisk one egg white and you want to whisk it until it starts getting those nice foamy peaks in it. And then we're going to add some granulated sugar. The recipe did say the finer the granules of sugar, the better. It's just going to whip much better. Now, if you don't have egg white, you can use the um, chickpea liquid, which is a, a substitute that a lot of people do have, but I, I don't have any chickpea or chickpea liquid, so egg whites it is. Okay, so we have mostly stiff peaks here. I'm going to add in the sugar. One tablespoon going in. Back to whisking. Look at those stiff peaks there. Beautiful. We were basically just making a matcha meringue. We're gonna dust in a teaspoon of matcha. It's green snow. And then you wanna blend it together again so it creates this beautiful moss green foam to put on top of milk. Delicious. Now I have some ice, got some milk, one cup of whatever milk you have, and then you put the green foam on top. So yeah, may have overweight this, but it's fine. Mmm, that's good. Mmm, mm-hmm, mmm, that's good. Stirring this for a while, I'm trying to get it all incorporated. Mmm. Honestly, I would just eat the matcha meringue by itself, not even with the milk. But with the milk, it's good too. It's taking a minute to like fully incorporate. It looks less incorporated on this side than it does on this side for some reason. But anyway, it is very good. I would absolutely make this again. And it looks really cool. It's like, got this like cool green foam on top. Very summery. I like it. Ooh, Chris, you want to try this? Really good uh, though, so you can't steal it from me. Is it? I liked it. Nice. Honestly, I just eat the Delgona, or the Delgona, the matcha latte meringue stuff by itself. Oh. Mm, yeah, the wet part is very good. It's good, right? Yeah. I feel like the ratio is a little off. Yeah, this is too much milk. Okay. I, I feel like maybe with a little bit of milk. It's in pit? Yeah. Which one do you want to try? Do you want to try one of these? Try one of those truffles. Yeah, skewer one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, wait, do you want the covered ones or the drizzled ones? I don't really like white chocolate that much. <gasps> really? Mm. There you go. First of all, beautiful. Th thank you. I thought so. Are you going to try one? Yeah, I guess I should. I don't know why I'm just sitting here <laughs> watch watching me. you. Oh, how does it set? I don't understand. Did I make it wrong? It's very gooey. Are they supposed to be not gooey? I don't eat a lot of truffles. I didn't read the thing, but it's not supposed to taste like that. I think those need to be like frozen or at least chilled in that form. Well, I'll go and chill them and then we'll try them again. Maybe you'll try them again. <laughs> That's twice now. We've been let down by cream cheese and Oreos. That's true. It's not a good uh, track record. Two new drinks for summertime. Yeah, yeah, these are good summer drinks. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Now, a little bit of rum in there. Ew, rum and green tea? I can't imagine any alcohol in this. It's like, it's too mild. I guess it would have to be vodka, but I would probably tr try white rum. Uh, I think white rum would work. Yeah, I do. I can't, I can't, I can't get on board with that. It's too light. It's light and fluffy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You might be right. It's just been a while oh. since I've had a drink. <laughs> this is fair. Yeah. It's, been a, it's been a while. You can have some, you can have some. I am having some. <laughs> Why is this blue light on? It's taking forever. What else do I have? Oh, the moose. Deer? It's a moose. Elk? Is this a, is this a moose? I, I said what I said. <laughs> okay, I'm back. And it is time to finish up the espresso mousse. And I got myself a little Francesca, got her ready to go. So all we're gonna do now is combine some heavy cream as well as the espresso sweetened condensed milk 
concoction that we made earlier. Put it in here, a little whip together into nice fluffy peaks, and then we have we have our mousse. Like that's it. Francesca's doing the heavy lifting on this one. This, by the way, is one cup of heavy cream or whipping cream or whatever it is where you are. Pour that in and the espresso goo. Didn't think to grab a spoon first. That would have been smart. And mix time. This does look real good, but to me, this looks like just whipped cream, which I mean, technically it is, but it's like a flavored whipped cream. I feel like I would put this on top of dessert, not just eat it by itself. Now, what I'm really curious about is that you can freeze this and then you get soft serve. That I feel like would be really good. Eating things time. Okay. All of these desserts in front of you have three ingredients. Three. Can I use the torch? Yes. I wasn't gonna ask you to do it or whatever. A lot of sugar. That's a lot of sugar. Do you like it really crispy on the top of your creme brulee? No, not really. Oh, then stop. Why okay. are you go <laughs> I almost like leaned right into the fire. Did you see that? Oh yeah, that was scary. Okay, I thought it would be a lot faster. I'm gonna be oh, honest. Yeah. Look at that smoke dough. That was good. I think so, but I mean, keep going. Why not? I am having fun with this. This is, this is fun to watch. Wow. Oh, look how golden it looks. It's really pretty. It's very pretty. Do we want to give the Oreo things another go? Let's get that out of the way, <laughs> yes. So I put it in the fridge, and so it's set up a little more than the goo was before. That already looks way better. Cheers. <laughs> I don't like it. No. <laughs> but it's infinitely better. It's just cold goo. But it's... Firmer goo. Um, don't do it. Is it a three ingredient dessert? Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. Does it look pretty? Yes. Would kids like it? Yes. End of list. Okay, next. I feel like the mousse won't last out very long. All right, you wanna do that one that, next? Yeah. Okay. I have the highest hopes for this one. I want this one to work. To me, this is whipped cream. Yes, it is. This goes on top of dessert. It would do so much for a dessert. Because you really taste the intensity of the espresso. Mm -hmm. It really comes through. It's not like yeah. diluted in any way. Yeah. I'm really curious to see. I put a little bit in a thing in the freezer. I don't know if it's like frozen yet. <laughs> Look over there. What's that? Okay. Is that frozen? No. Ugh. Okay. Well maybe tomorrow. You know what would be really good in this, I'm sorry, but some like nuts, hazelnuts, peanuts, something like that on top. I don't buy that. You can't turn up your nose. I can do whatever I want. You think nuts are delicious, you just can't have them. No, no, I've had soy nuts, <laughs> coconuts. Somebody once asked me if sesame seeds on a bun was nuts. <laughs> that was the thing that happened. Now I don't have a lot of fudge because again, nut allergy. So I'm kind of stoked about this. Very soft fudge. You say that like it's a bad thing. Do you want fudge to be hard? Yeah, you want to, well, I think fudge should be firm. I feel like they said some notes on it. Hold on. Okay, hey, hold on. <laughs> Don't eat it. Okay. Don't eat more of it. It says you can add more chocolate chips next time if it's still too soft. Oh, should we try it? <laughs> now, I don't know. Is this what fudge is supposed to taste like? To me- Fudge should be chewier. Okay, so, yeah. okay, because so, this just tastes like melted down chocolate chips. Yeah. Like it, it again, not bad, yeah. but just melted down chocolate chips. It's like yeah. already like melting yeah. in my hand. I wouldn't <sighs> waste ingredients on it. No, I guess you know? not. Ready for this? Yeah. Look how pretty it is, by the way. Yeah, that's beautiful. Okay, wait, are you gonna like hack into it? Isn't that what everyone does with creme brulee? Mmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's not runny enough for a creme brulee. Yeah, it's close enough for jazz. I, I'm, I'm genuinely trying to figure out, like, I can taste a difference between this and like a, like a fancy creme brulee. It's missing a lot of richness and the texture is a bit off, but that's way closer than I expected. I mean, I wouldn't make a creme brulee for myself at home. But I might make that though. If, if I were craving creme brulee, yeah. I think that's like a super date night kind of special, but easy dessert. Yeah, uh, like, like, it looks fancy. Yeah. It does not taste bad. If you had a fancier vanilla ice cream. I wonder, eh? Like a really good French vanilla ice cream, I bet it would be better. How come I can't get good ice cream? 
no, no. <laughs> okay, popsicles need to stop saying make dank traces of peanuts. Yeah, there we are no peanuts. Know. My favorite is, is the matcha latte. Yeah. I really liked that. And then second is the mousse. Yeah, I put mousse one, matcha latte two, but if we dial in the ratios a little more yes. with the milk, it could go to one. Worst one, I was gonna say like, the first time I tried the truffles or the second time, but either way, they were the worst. They yeah. look pretty for the camera, but they're awful and you shouldn't make them. I don't think that was worth all of the Oreos that went into that, no. you know? Like I just, like even if you made that like mint, like mint Oreos. Would you rather have that or double stuff? <sighs> I think so. I think it's double stuff. What about mega stuff? What, does that exist? I think so. I think I would still take that because this is just mush. Mm -hmm. At least with the other one, I could scrape out the filling. No, 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 no. Just... In this hypothetical, <laughs> there's no scrape. Why not? <laughs> if you guys have any three ingredient recipes that you guys want us to try, let us know in the comments. Mm. And otherwise, I hope you guys are having a great Saturday and I'll see you guys all next week. Love you all. Bye, everyone. I'm gonna eat all the desserts. A good one. <laughs>